To quote the indie rock band Cracker, the world requires another programming language like I require a hole in head. Yeah, that's quite funny and sane at the same time, isn't it? Because right now we have hundreds of programming languages out there. However, that being said, Go has infiltrated the development industry like a spreading vine covering everything that come before it with a lush and many ways superior cover of programming capabilities. With its rising popularity, exploring a little about this programming framework would not hurt at all. And that's what we are going to do with this particular session on getting started with Go programming language. But before we begin with this session, a subscribe to the IntelliPath YouTube channel will be much appreciated. First of all, we shall look into the agenda for this session. We will begin this session on a friendly note by understanding what Go is and why Google developers incarnated it. After that, we will discuss about programming advancement Golang has in offer. Next, we will discover why giving Go programming a shot is worth it and also the industry tycoons that employ Golang for software development. And finally, we will try to create first Go programming intuition by ourselves. I hope I have made myself clear with the agenda. So without further ado, let's get started with the first topic on our list that is what is Go programming. As per our discussion till the time, you must have got hold that Go is basically a programming language, right? Now to build more context, understand that Go is an open source programming language developed and statistically typed as well as compiled by the employees of Google. The story goes that Google engineers designed Go while waiting for other programs to compile. Their frustration at their toolset forced them to rethink system programming from the ground up, creating a lean, mean and compiled solution that allows the massive multithreading, concurrency and performance under pressure. Go is primarily an imperative language that supports concurrency at best. It includes some of the best characteristics of object-oriented programming such as interfaces but excludes some of the drawbacks as well. Go was purposefully designed to leave out the more heavyweight elements of object-oriented programming. In that context, Go is a hybrid language integrating the best features of several languages with a clear, expressive type system while staying lightweight and simple to learn. Go can be used for a variety of software development solutions including system programming, general programming and general support. It is capable of handling high volume server centric online services, text processing issues and heavy duty distributed applications. Moving ahead, we'll discuss about some features of Go programming language. The first feature I would put across is that Golang is quite flexible because of the language design and the fact that developers took motivation from C programming language itself. Also, the design of Go programming brings the extra dimension of versatility with it. Then we have concurrency. Go allows multiple processes to run simultaneously. Arguably, this is the Go's most famous and crucial feature. Go utilizes the multiple cores available on the system to function in parallelism. Concurrency makes most sense when separate processes do not rely on each other and where time performance is critical. This often is the case with input-output requirements where reading or writing to the disk or network is quite a few orders of magnitude slower than that of most complicated in-memory processes. The Go keyword before a function invocation will run that function concurrently, which is the best advantage that Go programming language has to offer guys. Next feature we have is Go always includes binary inbuilts. The Go runtime provides services like memory allocation, garbage collection, concurrency support and networking. It is compiled into every Go binary. This differs from many other languages. They uses a virtual machine that needs to be installed alongside the program to work correctly. But that's not the case with Go programming since it has been inspired from C programming itself. The inclusion of the runtime directly in the binary makes it exceedingly simple to distribute and run Go programs as well as avoid incompatibility concerns between the runtime and program. Language virtual machines just as Python, Ruby and JavaScript are not optimized as of Go for garbage collection and memory allocation, which gives an upper hand to Go programming language. 
Go for example, keeps as much ads it can on the stack, where data is arranged sequentially for significantly faster access than the heap storage allocation used in many other programming languages. The next feature we are going to talk about is library. Go comes with a powerful standard library, distributed ads package, which also reduces importing complex secondary libraries. The last feature we have is Go has implicit interfaces. Anyone who has read solid coding books and design patterns has probably heard the mantra favor composition over inheritance. In brief, rather than relying on hierarchical inheritance of properties and logic from a parent class, you should divide your business logic across multiple interfaces. Another popular adage that exists out there is program to an interface, not an implementation. An API should only publish the contract of its expected behavior, but not details about how that behavior is implemented. Both of these points emphasize the critical role of interfaces in modern programming. Unlike other languages, however, interfaces in Go are not implemented explicitly, but rather implicitly. In the next step, I'll explain to you guys why you should consider learning this Go programming language. In recent years, you have probably seen some tweets or blogs suggesting that Go is superior to Perl, Python, C, etc. We have all been using something, but market continuously produces something that has more value than previous versions, right? If you want to keep an eye on a log, then Perl stands out as a better choice. If you want to send out tweets on a regular basis or want to automate emails, Python is the highway to go for. But what if you want to manage data from thousands of concurrent users? In that case, rudimental languages such as Java or C++ becomes the only solutions. However, now with the incarnation of Go programming language, this ain't case no more. And to your surprise, Go can do all of the tasks mentioned above all by itself. Go ensures that your toolset can be compiled across all platforms and hardwares. It is incredibly portable and uses a surprisingly basic package management mechanism that just works very fine. Next reason on my list is Go has been developed by keeping modern software development in mind. Not everything that is new is good, but when a programming language is developed for an exact environment that most of us are utilizing right now, that is scalable, cloud-based servers that are tuned for performance, a lot of things can go right. Because Go can be compiled on almost any machine. You can use it to build a whole web application or an utility to clean up in compiled data before processing it. Like Perl before it. Go is a Swiss army knife, but one that has stripped off all the overhead and extra junk that has accredited onto programming platforms over the past few decades. Go is simple and lightning fast. Go has been unique since very beginning. You can learn Go in a few hours if you are already aware of basics of programming and other few languages. You'll be ready to code once you have mastered its tricks. Again, because it is so fast, you'll want to use it for practically everything you previously used command line interpreters for, effectively replacing your bash script, python sketches and java efforts. The final reason on our list is vast areas of applications. Many companies are adopting Go programming for multiple reasons. It can be used for game development, streaming platform development to achieve high performance and low performance latency, to maintain server architecture and many more. Let's discover these applications in details by understanding how different companies utilizing Go. The first one is Uber. It is a ride-hailing international corporation. Many Uber services are built with Go. Uber uses Geofence lookups to present its vehicle availability for specific users and to apply charges based on distances. The Geofence service becomes Uber's highest inquiries per second, that is QPS. Uber uses Golang in their application as well as their subsidiaries such as Uber Eats and Jump Bikes to achieve high performance and low latency. Twitch is yet another platform that uses Go. Twitch is a live video game streaming platform, a subsidiary of Amazon. The application primarily focuses on real-time video game streaming, eSport competition broadcast and unique material music broadcast and other features. 
Twitch has also created an RPC framework called as Twerp, which is written in Golang and is used to communicate with backend servers. The transcoding system converts RTMP streams into HLS streams by combining C++ and Golang. Golang is employed to provide its viewers with the finest quality video broadcast possible. So that's the use of Golang in Twitch. Another wonderful example of large corporations employing Golang is Dropbox. Dropbox is one of the leading cloud computing service providers. It uses Golang in order to scale its system more efficiently. To this end, the company migrated its critical systems with Python to deal with the problem of insufficient depth of Go libraries and to be able to build larger systems, Dropbox has begun to build its own libraries. This allowed them to improve caching, improve their standard error interface, enable programs to generate SQL statement programmatically and to implement fully functional meme cache client libraries. That's quite amazing, isn't it? Then we have PayPal and Netflix. PayPal's database was built in C++, which is infamous for its final code complexity, making proper maintenance and scaling of platform completely unfeasible. PayPal's development team thus shifted to Go programming language to remedy the situation. Using Golang, engineers were able to swift, simplify and modernize their platform. Netflix, the most popular OTT platform across the globe, is using Golang to maintain their server architecture. On that note, let's understand how you can create the first traditional statement printing program using Go. Go programming has a certain structural flow. Let me help you understand that with an example. The first part of Go program will be package declaration. The first line of program will always be package main. It actually defines the package name in which this program should lie. It is a mandatory statement as Go programs run in packages and the main package is the starting point to run each program. Each package has a path and name associated with it. Next step will be importing packages. Here you will enter pre-processing commands that will tell you Go compiler to include the files lying in mentioned package. Then we will have function declaration. Remember guys, in Go programming, function main is the main function from which the program execution begins. Then inside the function body, you can declare variables, methods and expressions. With this basic program, we are just aiming to print the statement, right? So we'll need to import FMT library of Golang to access println method and actually print the statement. So guys, if you want to print traditional hello world statement, go ahead and just put hello world statement inside this FMT println block. We will have more such sessions coming up on Go programming language where we will teach you guys intricacies of this language. So make sure you stay tuned with IntelliPath YouTube channel. That being said, we hope that this session was informative and interesting. If you have any queries, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Our team of experts will be delighted to resolve all of your queries. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath has launched a Golang certification course that covers all concepts of Go programming language right from the basics to advanced level. You'll get to learn all the topics from industry experts with end-to-end hands-on learning.